Hi, my name is Diana Ferris. I'm working as a technical writing intern for Mr. Cooper this fall in Dallas, Texas. So first I'd like to talk about what Mr. Cooper is. It's a mortgage and financial services company headquartered in Dallas, Texas. It is among the largest mortgage servicers in the United States with a servicing portfolio of approximately $500 billion. Now I'd like to talk a little bit about the hiring process and how I got this position. I found out about this opportunity online via LinkedIn and I sent in an application along with my resume. I received a call from a recruiter and I completed a brief phone interview. A few weeks later, I interviewed with the vice president of the department, uh, the internship mentor, and two other staff members. A recruiter notified me a few days later that I got the position, and I started working this position remotely on September 7th, 2021. Now I want to talk a little bit about where I'm located within Mr. Cooper. I currently intern for the policy office, and I want to talk a little bit more about what the policy office is and what the responsibilities are. The Change Governance Office, also known as the Policy Office, is part of the Risk and Compliance Organization within Mr. Cooper. It's responsible for all tasks related to writing, publishing, and governing policy standards and procedures. Our tasks include ensuring policies and procedures are standard company-wide and adhere to the style guide, setting up approval flow, coordinating all requests for external releases, providing periodic reporting on status, maintenance, and approval, and storing all policies and procedures in Archer. Our office also works with legal and compliance, uh, who review all of our policies and procedures prior to publication. Technical writers specifically create policies and procedures um, for a lot of reasons, uh, change of law, change of investor, business process change, and annual reviews are the primary reasons. We also support high priority policies and procedures in response to exam management and RFP due diligence. On this slide, I've included an organizational chart for our department. So uh, here on the left, you can see we have the policy change governance or the policy office. Um, and I am housed in this department. I report to Danielle Wanky, who is my mentor uh, for this internship. And as you can see, there are also several other departments, uh, the regulatory change governance, risk change governance, and optic support. And we are all housed under risk management. And uh, Sarah Pagan is the vice president uh, overseeing all of the departments. So now I want to touch on what my responsibilities as a tech writing intern are. So my main responsibilities are going through the Archer queue, creating and updating policies and procedures as needed. Um, I'll touch more on Archer later on in the presentation. Um, I also communicate with SMEs on a regular basis to close information gaps and gather their approvals in Archer. Um, I support the team during the annual review process. This process is done on an annual basis, and it's basically to ensure that all of Mr. Cooper's policies are up to date in accordance with current business processes and laws. Um, the annual review is due at the end of the year, so right now is a very important time. Um, we are currently at 86% complete, so we are on a good pace uh, to finish by the end of the year. Next, I'm going to talk about the software and tools that I use as a tech writing intern. So my primary tool that I use on a daily basis is Archer. Archer is Mr. Cooper's enterprise risk and compliance system. Um, that houses issues management, vendor management, change of law and investor, um, and it also houses all of Mr. Cooper's policies and procedures. It's where they're written, edited, approved, published, and stored. Archer has an automated workflow called the Policy Change Request Application, and that pushes documents to the correct approvers, keeps track of all the changes and approvals, so this is a pretty vital tool that we use um, as tech writers to make sure that the policies and procedures that we're writing and editing are getting approved in a timely fashion. Um, so when I log on to Archer every day, there is a technical writer queue, and here that's where I review what documents need to be written, edited, or approved, and I go ahead and 
make the changes as needed with guidance from my mentor. Some other really important tools that I use are the Policy Portal and SharePoint site. The Policy Portal is where you can go and search through all published policies and procedures. This comes really in handy when I am writing or editing a document and I come across a term that I'm unfamiliar with. I can go to the Policy Portal and see if that is in other existing documentation and that gives me insight onto, into what that means and it saves me some time and it saves the SME some time so I don't have to go to the SME and ask them every little thing. So this comes um, really in handy. Um, and also there we have the policy request list in SharePoint. This is where users, uh, Mr. Cooper, Mr. Cooper employees, they can request updates to existing policies and procedures. They can request the creation of new policies and procedures, retire existing ones, reassign them, and grab PDF copies that they need. Other software I use on a daily basis includes Microsoft Office, Teams, Zoom, and Outlook. Working remotely, the, the software is really important uh, for keeping up with the day-to-day -day happenings and uh, communicating with my coworkers and my SMEs. Teams especially has been really helpful. Um, I'm able to IM instant message SMEs and uh, that saves us a little bit of time. They're usually more responsive that way and uh, I'm able to get the answers that I need more quickly and build a little bit better working relationship with them that way. So that's been very helpful. I have two work products that I completed during this internship that I want to go a little bit more in depth with. This procedure I created using reference material provided by the SME as well as guidance from the Mr. Cooper policy style guide. Um, this Procedure touches on managing legal funds and it goes into some pretty in-depth Excel processes. Um, I worked pretty extensively with the SME on this procedure as it was one of the first documents I worked on as well as it was a process I was really unfamiliar with, but we were able to uh, come up with a finished product and this was published to the Mr. Cooper Policy website on November 3rd, 2021. This is a document that came up as part of our annual review process. This was an outdated procedure that needed quite a bit of updating. I was able to collaborate with the SME and come up with a very much needed refresh of the document. And I also reformatted it to be consistent with the current Mr. Cooper style guide. This is a finished product. However, it is still going through the approval workflow. So now I'd like to discuss some skills I've learned during my time working as a technical writing intern for Mr. Cooper. Writing and editing with a style guide has been a really important skill that I've been able to hone during my time with Mr. Cooper. Uh, the style guide does a really good job of outlining roles and guidelines for document elements, format, and writing style, and this ensures that all the policies, procedures, and standards um, remain consistent and on brand for Mr. Cooper. Writing with a style guide was a little bit of an adjustment for me. It took some time to get used to. A lot of the roles and guidelines in the style guide are unconventional and are not consistent with how I've been taught to write in the past. For example, words like borrower and lender are required to be capitalized within the policies. Um, so things like that have been a bit of an adjustment for me, um, but it's helped me grow as a technical writer and helped me learn how to be consistent and uh, get better at writing and editing. As a technical writer, communicating with SMEs is hugely important, so I was really looking forward to learning more about this process during my internship. And uh, I wasn't disappointed. I did learn a lot about identifying proper knowledge gaps in the documents and the best way to ask certain questions to get the knowledge needed from the SMEs. Um, asking the right questions really plays a big role 
in how long a document will take to complete. If my questions aren't clear enough, this meme may not give me the exact information I'm looking for, and that drags the process on a little bit. It's important that, to ask the proper questions to ensure the document is completed in a timely manner, and I feel I've really honed this skill during my time as an intern here. My UNT coursework has really prepared me for this internship. I would say every class that I've taken in the master's program has helped me in some way. However, I would like to talk about three classes specifically that I find myself referring back to most often. When I'm working through documents during the day, I probably think back to principles and concepts I learned in editing technical documents the most. I would say I spend most of my time uh, editing. So this has been really helpful to refer back to especially when it comes to adhering to a style guide and really understanding grammar and syntax and how to read a document critically. Um, it's really helped me in that way. Style and technical writing is another class to think back to often. Whenever I'm writing, I want to make sure that I'm maintaining the tone that is requested of me by Mr. Cooper and the style guide. And this class really helped me hone the skills of learning how to write in different different tones and voices. So this is definitely a class that I've referred back to a lot. So now I want to touch on some challenges I've had while working as an intern at Mr. Cooper. One of them's been learning the mortgage industry lingo. There are lots of new terms and vocabulary that I've never heard before that are really specific to the mortgage lending industry. So it's been quite a learning curve, making sure I understand all these new terms and acronyms and how to use them in documentation. Starting a new job remotely has been another challenge, especially starting a corporate position remotely. I've never worked in, the cor in a corporate environment before, and doing that remotely, I was a little nervous going in that maybe I wouldn't be able to connect with people or that things would be disjointed. However, I've had a really great time. I've learned a lot. I've been able to build relationships. So that's been a challenge I've been able to overcome pretty easily. Um, but at first it was uh, pretty nerve wracking. Another big challenge has been learning the software Archer and adapting to the glitches and quirks that are in the software. Currently there is a glitch in Archer that scrambles the documents information. And this, as of yet, we've un been unable to identify how to avoid this. So this happens pretty often. And it definitely adds on time to how long it takes to process a document. So that's been a really big challenge as well. However, I am getting better at catching it when it happens and getting better at correcting it. Honestly, there isn't really much I would change about my internship. I'm really enjoying myself and learning a lot. I guess if I had to pick something I would change, I would definitely change the glitch that exists in Archer currently that's causing us a lot of issues, as well as uh, I would like to start editing more types of documents. Um, right now I've only edited and created procedures. However, I would like to, I would really like to get into editing policies and standards as well. So I guess increased responsibility is another thing I would change. But otherwise, I am really enjoying myself and learning a lot.